This is Sogram Glitch Master, and I'm going to show you a video on how to make a um, stopwatch like this. And my and I already made one, and YouTube is gay and wouldn't let me upload it because it was 11 minutes and 40 seconds. They said it was too long. So I'm going to move fast in this video. Open up your Visual Basics, hit standard EXE. Mm, okay, make your form a little bigger. Put a timer in there. Put it anywhere. I'm going to have to put it down there so it's out of the way. Um, put in take a, put in four labels. It doesn't matter if they're the same size. Just put them like in order from when you make them. Like put one there, put two there, three here, right there, then four right. There, just make them roughly the same size. You'll see why it doesn't matter in a minute. Um, click on the first one. Go over here to um, alignment. Do center. Back color is black. Change the label to zero. I mean, caption to zero. Change the font to 24 bold. And the four color to red. Then it gives you a zero like that. Okay, do that for the rest of them, and then it will end up looking like this. Then you end up with something like this. All four of them like that. Make sure, like I said again, one's here, the second one you make is there, and the third one you make you put there, and fourth there. Now just bring them down and align them so that they're evenly spaced out. Then click on the word form. Come down here, go to back color. Change it to black. And there we go. So that's why it doesn't matter if they're the same size. Um, also go over here and change the caption to stop watch. And it changes that up there to stop watch. Um, now add in two buttons. Um, the same size. Um, name the first one. Start slash stop. And name the second one. Um, name it. Reset. I'm gonna check how much time it's been going because I can't go. Oh, I can't. I can't check how much time it's been going. Poop. Um. Okay. Double click on your timer. Type in the following text, uh, the following code. Um, I'm gonna have it in my com in my in the description of the video. Cause I'm gonna do it wicked quick. Put put label four dot caption equals the value of label four dot caption plus the value of one. Enter. Go down to here. Interval to 1000. Go back up. If label 4 dot caption equals 60, then label 3 dot caption equals the value the value of itself, label 3 dot caption. Plus the value one and label four equals um dot caption equals zero and if now you do if label three dot caption equals sixty then label two dot caption equals the value of label two dot caption plus the value one and then label three dot caption equals zero and if if label two dot caption equals twenty four then Um, label one dot caption.
function equals value of label one dot caption plus value one and label two dot caption equals zero and if yeah. there's the code for the timer now I'm still gonna be moving along pretty fast hit the X up here go to stop start double click on it if timer one dot enabled equals false then timer one dot enabled equals true else timer one dot enabled equals false and if that's the code for the start stop button. Go to reset, double click on it. Type in label forward dot caption equals zero. Copy it, paste it in there four times. Change this one to three, change this one to two, change this one to one. And now we have a timer. Hit start. Now you have a timer. You hit start. It will start counting. It will start counting. Um, but we have to do one more thing first before I end this part of the tutorial. Um, double click on the background. Type in the form load code. Type in timer one dot enabled equals false so that uh, the timer doesn't start when you start the program. That was the first part of the tutorial, which was making the actual stopwatch itself. And then I'm going to make the second video in just a couple seconds that will tell you how to actually make the um, make the custom set. Um, yeah. So watch the other video.